All right, hey, what's up guys? Derek here from SimNet Nutrition. So I've had a few people asking me if I would kind of like break down my workouts, how I do them. Uh, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I basically split them up into like a push, pull, uh, and leg stay split. Uh, I find that easiest for me. It's a good way to target like a group of muscles uh, without having to think so hard about, okay, I'm gonna do chest today. What are all the exercises that, um, you know, that will develop my chest? You can basically just go, okay, today's a push day and I'm gonna do all the push exercises I know or a selection of them that I know as well. So um, I'm gonna show you basically my like three or four core movements today that I do for push exercises. You'll see I, I do calisthenics movements, but I also add quite a bit of weight to my workouts, um, either using like a backpack or also um, like a weight belt as well for the dips. Um, so I'm gonna start off now by showing you the push-ups that I do. And uh, basically what I do here is, I have a old sturdy backpack and I've padded the inside a bit with like a thick, um, a really thick towel just so that I don't feel the weights like poking into my back. So I already have like a 25 pound plate in there and I'm going to add another 25 pound plate and this once I've warmed up of course and I've stretched this is what I'll start with and I'll basically do as many reps as I can with 50 pounds on my backpack. I will go to failure or near failure and then I'll take 25 pounds out. And again, I'll go to failure there. And then I will often uh, take the weights out completely and just do push-ups uh, without any weight. But I usually wait until my last set or second last set before I do that just because I wanna try and keep my reps down and keep the, uh, like the strength and, and size building pretty high. So here we go, I'll start with 50 pounds. And of course you don't have to start with this much if you guys wanna use you know 10 pounds um, do it like that or, or just no weight at all but this is what has been working for me and so here we go with 50 pounds in the backpack make sure you keep your form good no matter how much weight you're using keep your elbows in don't let them flare out too much There we go. Once I can't get any more out with 50 pounds, as quickly as I can, take the backpack off, take 25 pounds out, put it back on, and keep going. Now I like this style because I don't have to really count my reps. I just go to failure and then I make the movement easier like I just did and then I go to failure again and I'll do two or three sets like that and then if it were my last set or second last set depending on how I feel I'll take the backpack off and I'll just do it without any weight and this way you're not doing like you know 200 push-ups per workout and you're always challenging yourself. So that was one of the movements and we'll move over to a, the dip bars here and I'll show you one of my other favorite push uh, movements for push days. All right, so once you're done that movement, uh, you could either do you know three sets, four sets of that in a row, uh, but what I often like to do is kind of do my workouts as a circuit. I find it keeps it fun um, and I just get to use like a whole bunch of, of different muscles. For that so I'm gonna move right into dips next and uh, like with the push-ups I really like to load my uh, like the weight up really really heavy in the beginning and then drop the weight uh, as I continue so um, again I don't really count my reps I just go to failure some days I can do more some days I can do less if you're a numbers person and you have to count then that's totally fine I'm just telling you guys what has worked for me so again start out with the 50 feel comfortable you don't have to go past 
90 degree if you have bad shoulder mobility. But if you want to go a little deeper, to really get a good workout in, you can. And like I mentioned in one of my last videos, if you lean forward slightly, you tend to target the chest. Um, so there, uh, maxed out on the 50 there, didn't take long. And then as quickly as I can, I'll go down to the 25. All right, now that I've dropped the 25 pounds here, I'm working with only 25 and straight into it. I think it was about 12, but who's counting? <laughs> and once you're done with that, you could go right into doing them without any weight. But like I mentioned, I usually wait until my second to last set or my last set to do them just total body weight. I just find that that works for me. Uh, here we go. I'll pat those a couple. So do three or four sets of that, but again, I like to do it in a circuit. So from here, I'll jump to another movement and then come back around to this one. So I'll show you guys one more movement here. All right, so another one of my favorite movements to do on push days are handstand push-ups. I have to do them against a wall or a tree in this situation because I'm not quite strong enough to do them like freestanding yet. I can maybe get one or two out um, on the dip bars, but uh, that's not enough for a workout for me. So during my workouts, I'll generally do something where I can do at least a few reps and I'll practice that on the side. So here we go, a few handstand push-ups for you guys. All right, now, I never add weight to those ones, obviously, because how the heck would you, and they're hard enough as it is. So I'll just do as many of those as I can, continue on my circuit, and come back to them. So let me show you one last move that I do on my push days, and that's with the workout rings. This one isn't a necessity, but I find it really, really good for developing the sort of split between your pecs. So here we go. All right, and one of the last movements I do on my push days are using the uh, gymnastics rings. And if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love the gymnastics rings. Um, I've had some like crummy plastic ones up until just today where I just bought these. And let me tell you guys, it's well worth the investment. The wooden ones are so much easier on your hands. Um, and these are so much easier to set up than the crappy ones that I bought off eBay from China before. So uh, if that's all you can afford, get them. It got me started, but let me tell you, these ones are definitely worth the money. So. Um, I do a whole bunch of stuff on the rings and I really like just to just to play on them and kind of um, You know get different movements going but one of my favorites are going to a push-up and then bear squeeze at the top and really focus on uh, clenching your pecs together and squeezing and I find that this one's really good for Getting a good pump on the upper and middle of your chest helping to get that separation Now you can add weight to these if you want, but I really like to focus on sort of the mind-muscle connection with these so I don't go too heavy. But if it's too easy for you, of course you can. And then from here, sometimes I'll just go into some movements like this. And there you have it. So those are the four key movements that I do for my push days. I hope that helps you guys out. Try them. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like if this video has helped you. Subscribe if you want to see more. And um, get involved. Comment down below. Ask some questions. Give me some ideas to do videos on. 
and I really want to help you guys out. So if there's something you got to know, or something you want to see, then don't forget to comment down below. All right. So see you guys next time. Go hard. Calisthenics for the win. Vegan for the win. Peace.